So day six, well done, you've made it through to the final day of daily devotions. And as you will know, we've been looking at Genesis 1 to 3 all week. So as I've said every day so far, if you've not managed to read it all through Genesis 1 to 3 um, before now, then stop the tape and read it all through in one go, just to give yourself a good understanding of it. And maybe if you have read it through already, maybe you should do it again, just to really embed it, because it's such a foundational part of the whole Bible. So today we're looking at rest. We're looking at rest and uh, it's quite a well-known verse at the end of chapter one. It's actually the beginning of chapter two, isn't it? Where it says the seventh day God had finished the work he'd been doing. So on the seventh day he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day, made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. So look, what is it to rest? That is a, um, a book filler. In fact, it's a whole shelf of book fillers uh, question and, um, and we can't do it justice now. But look, just a thought for today that rest is the opposite of work. Oh my goodness, that is so uh, amazing, Graham, well done. Rest is the opposite of work. It's not, it's not doing work. It's not doing what you have been doing in the rest of the week. It's enabling someone else to not do what they've been doing in the rest of the week. It's change. It's rest. Yes, it's physical rest, but it's also emotional rest. It's also mental rest. It's doing something different different. So it probably does involve sleep, It pro more sleep. It probably does involve reading a book, having a bath, relaxing, whatever it takes. But most importantly, it's doing something different. It's recreation, recreation. If you've been driving your kids around all week, dare I say it's not driving your kids around, which here in this area is probably quite revolutionary at the weekend. It's resting, it's doing something different that you've been doing all week. But also it's being with God. It's something spiritual. Because at this point, before the banishment of chapter three, God and humanity are together. They rest together, the beautiful picture of God walking in the garden with people. God looks at humanity and all that he's made and rejoices in it. Rest is a spiritual thing. How spiritual is your rest? How spiritual is your day of rest? Going to church, meeting with other Christians, is an important spiritual part of rest. Well, that's a phrase to unpack over much discussion. I'm just going to leave you with that one. How is your rest? Amen.